Sofia Andreyevna, at last you honor us with a visit. Well, I'm curious to see how things are progressing here at Teliatinki. Oh. What is it? Oh, uh, your moustaches. Ah, <laughs> no, that's no, just a problem with the wax. Vladimir Grigorovich, let me come straight to the point. I don't wish to be your enemy. On the contrary, I am delighted that my husband has found a friend who understands and shares his ideals. Paul, what kind of adventures did you have shooting in Germany and Russia? Oh, well, we weren't in Russia. I wish we had been in Russia. We were in Germany the whole time. No, we were in East Germany the whole time, which the West Germans said was, you know, going to be like Rwanda, but it really wasn't, wasn't that bad. No, it was great. I had a lot of, a lot of downtime. You know, they eat a lot of sausages and drink a lot of beer, so it was a good time. So you time. like you went through Germany <laughs> tasting all the beer? Basically tasting all the beer. That was I had a lot of time to do that, so I, I took advantage of it. It's interesting how they made Germany look like Russia. Yeah, I think they had a hard time doing that. I mean, you know, it's a pretty different country. I mean, you know, everything's pretty nicely regimented and clean and... Germany, things are a little bit more chaotic in Russia. So I mean, you know, I know they had a hard time because the houses in Russia are all made of wood, and they couldn't find any wooden houses in uh, in Germany. Everything's made out of stone in Germany. So you know, they had a hard time with things like that, details like that. Who knew? No, I know. Who the hell knew? But but apparently it was a problem for them. No wooden houses. Now, Christopher Plummer. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Did you have to stop yourself from singing Edelweiss around no. him? Apparently you shouldn't sing Edelweiss around him. But, uh, yeah, no, he's pretty classic. He's been in everything, that guy. So, you know, but he was, he was a pretty mellow, pretty, pretty laid-back guy, considering how much he's done in his life. Yeah, I understand he really doesn't like to be thought of. For the sound of music. That's what somebody said to me, I, so I just didn't even bring it up. So I have no idea what his reaction would have been, but that's what I've heard. Yeah. So what was uh, what was your favorite scene to shoot in this film? It all was... the, I liked all the train stuff at the end, you know, because I like that, you know, you get an actual steam train and you get all these extras and an actual train station, and that was, you know, I like that kind of thing. So it was fun, all that stuff. And it was nice because everybody's in those scenes and they're very sort of moving and they were very, you know, the, kind of the big climax in the movie so that stuff was great to do I think that's the greatest thing about making movies in Europe is that you can go on a train and go from country to country well this is true yeah definitely no I remember shooting in Prague once and the Orient Express had to pull in while we were shooting in this train station it was really cool you know it was the Orient Express and there's all that old school stuff coming on there that's great do you actually sleep you sleep on the Orient Express and I think you do oh yeah no I mean that goes hundreds of miles and you know it's a beautiful old train they got the guys all in the uniforms and it was very cool you have such a glamorous life uh, yeah there you go that, there's the glamour part of it absolutely it's very cool to see that stuff now what's this uh this little beard i don't know i for? have no idea i don't know what the beard is i had a i had a beard for another movie and i just left it because i'm too lazy to shave this is there's a big thing going on now with men and beards is there yes did you know In this? general, no, I hadn't noticed. No. It's making a comeback. Is it really? Oh, that's nice. I've always had a beard. I've always had it. I used to get a lot of crap for it. But if it's coming back, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> okay. Who's got a beard these days? Everybody's got beards? Even David Beckham has a beard. Beckham has Well, he's always had a Oh, well, that's true. All right, nice. Oh, good. I'm glad to know it's back. Good. What kind of flack did you get for the beard? I don't know. People are always asking me what's with the beard. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't know. I just don't like to shave. I don't like to shave. So what's uh, what's your next project? I did a movie called Barney's Version and a movie called Ironclad that come out soon, and I may be doing a movie called Win Win. We'll see. And what are these movies? What are your roles in them? Uh, Barney's Version is a movie uh, I play a guy named Barney, and it's just a kind of character study of 30 years of this guy's sort of messed up life, and Dustin Hoffman plays my father in it. And um, Ironclad is a medieval, very violent medieval action movie, a British movie, very violent. Middle cool. Ages knights and stuff like that. Sort of swashbuckling. Oh uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's a lot of violent sword fighting in it and stuff like that. I don't do much of that, but it's like horses and stuff like that. So. Well, happy new year. Thanks Pleasure a lot. To see you. Nice to see you. Okay. Thank you. I I just want what's what's reasonable. I want an opportunity to evaluate the new will. If you agree, then I'm sure we can be friends. You are very kind. 
Sophia Andreevna. But I can't help you. Not without specific instructions from your husband. Oh, he has agreed, hasn't he, uh, Valentin? He... No witness you produce can change my position, I'm afraid. But I will, of course, speak to Lev Nikolaevich at the first opportunity. 